Ah, finally, the video's done. Well, time to move on to the next project. Wait, what's that sound? Okay, so a few of you guys actually played 3 Dash, so my brother and I made two major updates for the game. The first was an update with three new levels featuring music by DJVI, and the second is the level editor, so you guys can make and share your own levels. This video is essentially a tutorial for how to use that editor, so you don't have to read through all those help menus in the game. So here we go. There are three main parts to making a 3 Dash level. The first is the 2D editor, where you will place down blocks and other objects throughout the level. The second is the path editor, where you can design the path on the ground or in the air, where the player will go and the blocks will appear. Finally, you'll record a camera animation using the camera animator. In the 2D editor, you can place blocks with left click, delete them with right click, and change the one you're holding with the scroll wheel. You can also middle click a block to copy it to your cursor. Use WASD to move around the canvas and use Q and E to rotate the object. If you want, you can place objects off the path in different planes by using the up and down arrow keys, but you don't have to. You can also play the current song from the left side of the screen by pressing P or this button here. Press space while the song is playing to place a marker and press this button to delete all the markers. And that's about it for the 2D editor. Once you have the level designed, head on over to the path editor. Shift click to place points, control click to delete them, and shift click a point to add two more in the middle of the path. You can also drag points to move them around. To navigate this 3D world, hold right click to rotate the camera and use WSD to move around while still holding it. You can preview the blocks on the path by using this drop down here as well. If you want to make a 3D path like in the extra levels, click this button and drag the points up and down. Because the path curves upwards and downwards, you can do some crazy stuff like going up walls and doing loop-de-loops. With this new tool, you can also twist the path to your liking using Z and C. Once the path's all set, you'll animate the camera using the camera animator. Here you can record the camera's movements throughout the level by using the mouse. Press Z or C to twist the camera if you really want to go crazy with it. Once you're happy with your level, you can publish it by first playing through the playtester and then clicking the publish button once you beat it. If you want to share it with your friends, make sure to write down the level ID. In the online levels page, you can put in that ID to play it. Before the video ends, there are a few important things I still need to address. First of all, slopes are deadly. Sorry, I didn't want to program 3D slope physics. Really, they were only intended for the wave sections. Second of all, all speed portals will be activated even if you go around them. This is to make the song consistently line up with the level. Third of all, this isn't Geometry Dash. If you make a level in Geometry Dash and it works, that doesn't mean it'll work in 3 Dash. We tried to get the physics fairly accurate, but there's definitely still some inconsistencies. Fourth of all, there are probably a whole bunch of bugs and exploits in the game. So just keep in mind that this game was made by two people. I mean, I'm not even in college yet. Finally, enjoy the game. This whole project was made just for fun by two bros who love Geometry Dash. And it's super cool to see tons of people playing this game. If I haven't said it enough, thanks for playing. So we've at 